Hey everyone, Adam here. So if you're already running Linux, ignore this video. If you think someone wants to run Linux, share this video just so they get the real facts about Linux. Now, this video may piss off some really, really diehard Linux people, um, but I want this video to be completely honest. I want, I want people to have realistic expectations and I'm going to try to give you the best and most honest answers that I can uh, with Linux versus Windows. And uh, the last thing I want to do is set you up for failure, right? You have to have certain expectations. Now, first of all, I, uh, this, may be, this video may be slightly controversial. I just want to say I love Linux. I think it's fantastic. Um, I also don't hate Windows or Apple. In fact, I think all of them have their place. Uh, if I had infinite amount of time to learn all three operating systems and money, I would run all three. Um, I simply don't. So the two main operating systems that I run is, uh, or are, uh, Windows and of course uh, Linux. And I'm a firm believer in using the best tool for the job. So having said all of this, I want to I want you to think deep down and find out why you might be interested in Linux and based upon that deep down discussion that you have with yourself uh, might explain uh, how likely you are to succeed or potentially fail. Now I'll give you some background. The first time I ran Linux I basically failed maybe three or four times because I had the wrong expectations. Once I realized what my expectations were um, Linux all of a sudden stuck with me because I had I had a real motivation to actually learn it and to figure out the Linux operating system. Now one of the most popular things I hear people wanting to give Linux a try is because it isn't Windows. That's fantastic, great, keep in mind that it is not Windows and when you try to do something and treat it like it is Windows don't be upset don't don't be upset about it right don't get don't get mad that you cannot install an application like you do in windows remember linux doesn't work that way or file permissions might be totally different than what you're used to on windows right this is if you want it to work like windows just use windows i don't i don't understand why you would be switching if you get upset that that Linux isn't Windows, right? Um, Linux is different. That's a good thing, but keep in mind it requires a, a learning curve, right? So as long as you have the expectation that there's a learning curve and you're okay with the fact that it doesn't work like Windows, you'll be fine. Now if you want an avenue for learning about computers and understanding uh, how operating systems work or actually just a lot of things about computers in general, I think this is a fantastic reason to really make Linux work. Um, first of all, this will give you a huge drive to want to try it out. If you do run into roadblocks, you'll have fun troubleshooting. And I feel that uh, if you really want to learn this stuff, um, these people are going to really succeed and be successful with Linux, right? You, you have that drive to want to learn. Uh, you and as we already talked, learning is a must uh, when you are looking at the Linux operating system. You simply want to be free of viruses, or so you've heard, right? Everyone knows that Linux is more secure, and uh, there are pretty much zero viruses for Linux, right? Great, but in order to be more secure than Windows, the operating system has to be different than Windows, right? If this functioned just like Windows and wasn't as... Uh, if file permissions and everything work just like Windows, then you would probably have just as many viruses on Linux. So again, this is going to require, require a learning curve uh, because in order to be more secure, you have to do things much, much differently than the Windows operating system. So just be prepared, right? If it worked like Windows, you'd have all the viruses. Some other pros to Linux, if you want the flexibility of writing and creating powerful scripts, Linux is fantastic. I cannot tell you how many times I've just been blown away by... Uh, so let me give you an example, right? Uh, I just recently configured my Linux laptop um, with XFC and the awesome Windows Manager and uh, I wanted to do a little bit more fancy uh, things how I stored my data and when I did that I had to back up all my data on an external hard drive. So um, I kid you not, 
I copied all the files uh, onto, uh, or I, I backed up all the files under the Windows operating system. And it literally took uh, like three hours. Okay. And uh, I use an application to do this. And it's it was the exact same setup. It was a USB 3.0. It was a USB 3.0 on my Windows desktop uh, for, the, for the port. Um, I did the exact same thing under the Linux laptop. Um, I wrote a quick uh, script with rsync. Um, that way everything was kind of automated and it just took care of it. So I just walked away. 45 minutes, right? It was literally like three times faster. I, I, I don't know why, but the other awesome thing was is I could walk away and have all the files go exactly where I wanted, right? Because um, I had basically 10 different folders I was placing stuff in and under the uh, Windows operating system, like I kind of like I had to do the one folder, I had to wait like, you know, 45 minutes, then I could do the next folder, then I could do the next folder. And with Linux, I just wrote a script, boom, everything was done. And it was fantastic. Now, if you want to use Linux because you feel all code should be open and free, uh, that's another great, fantastic reason. Again, you're going to be very motivated. Uh, any roadblocks you hit, you'll probably just be like, meh, you know what? Whatever. It's part of the learning process. So you'll probably succeed. And honestly, like now that I understand um, a lot of the config files and, and how to back up the configuration files, it is fantastic. Like right now I'm in the process of, of switching over my netbook. And honestly, I think, so I probably spent maybe like 15 hours getting the awesome Windows Manager uh, over over like three months. I've spent 15 hours getting the awesome Windows Manager kind of the way I want it. And now I just drop in that config file and I'll be up and running the exact same configuration as my laptop. Uh, in probably like five minutes like after the install five minutes drop a couple files into the proper folders exact same setup i mean how fantastic is that like with windows i can't get that i i'd have to spend uh, uh hours just configuring the exact same settings because everything's in the registry they get, i have to install the proper programs it's just it's a pain in the butt so again uh, linux encourages uh, uh free code uh, uh, to to be open to kind of hack on and to kind of know where all of these files are stored. So that's great. If you want to use Linux because you think you can use a customized experience, for example, a tiling window manager, um, then you're, uh, you're right. Uh, you are going to, uh, again, you're going to want to learn Linux and uh, uh, you will have no problem succeeding. And uh, for me, Linux has really been worth the investment in time because um, now that I've uh, gotten everything down with the awesome Windows Manager or even Unity, uh, I feel much, much more efficient uh, with my uh uh, with my computing experience and with my workflows, um, it's fantastic. I, I feel very, very efficient, and I feel that that was time well spent. Now, I might have missed a few more reasons, um, but honestly, these should be the bulk of them. Basically, I just want you to know the expectations. Um, there is going to be a learning curve. Uh, it can be very, very rewarding. It can also be very, very frustrating. Uh, again, I've, you know, e even now, every once in a while, I get so frustrated because I just like, I'm like, oh my God, I just, I know how to do this in Windows and I don't yet know how to do this in Linux. And it's just, oh, it's very frustrating. But uh, eventually you just take it one step at a time um, and, and eventually you get it. And then, um, and then it's very rewarding because uh, it's all of this knowledge that you've, that, that you've built up. So again, if you have the time to do this, you have the desire to learn all of this, Linux is well worth the investment in my opinion and it is definitely a great operating system to learn, to learn and you can learn so much about computers by just kind of learning Linux and you can make some really powerful scripts uh, within within your operating system. All right well I've rambled on enough so uh, next video, whew, um, maybe we'll go over uh, some power tips with uh, maybe Unity. Um, uh, I really like the Unity uh, desktop environment, and uh, Ubuntu, I think, is a great place to start if you're new with Linux, and uh, I do want to go over some uh, uh, some tips on how to make the Unity experience uh, 
much more pleasurable in, in my opinion some tips and tricks that i've learned so uh, that'll probably be the next uh, video on, on how to hack uh, up uh, unity desktop environments and make it a little bit more efficient as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time